Armature System, Audio Rendering, WebSocket, Expression. Let's see what's new in Pixel Composer 1.15. So the biggest update would probably be the inclusion of the new Armature System, which I already made a tutorial about. You can check out in my channels, which allow you to create a skeletal animation right within Pixel Composer itself. But other than that, we also have other features coming in, in both interface and the node as well. Let's add that to the default theme that makes things a little bit easier to see, a little bit easier to distinguish between different elements. There is support for lower add-on which allows you to add in functionality directly to Pixel Composer. And we also have one default add-on which is the controller mapper which allows you to map values into your external controller. There's also a graph exporter which allows you to export your current graph as an image which makes it easier for you to share your graph around. We have a new project Y setting which allows you to set default surface dimension and the default palette. And setting the default palette will allow you to use the color quick selection tool which makes it easier and faster for you to change the color values into a color in your current palette. There is also a huge update coming to the expression system which I already covered in the previous tutorial which allows you to write a script to control your value with support for function evaluation, variable, string operation, array, condition, for loop. And now we have a series of new nodes coming into 1.15. So like I said, we have the new armature system which contains armature create node, the post node, the buy node. We also have other nodes too as well like armature to path or armature sample nodes. We also have an audio related node. Pixel Composer now can read in audio file and then render it out using the new graph plot node. You can also do audio window or frequency analysis to create interesting audio visualizer as well. There is also a WebSocket related node which allows Pixel Composer to read in data from the network. There is also an animation controller node which allows you to control the state of animation right from the node graph itself. We have the Morph node, the Anti-Aliasing node, the Red Remap, the Region Fill. We have revamped the Color Replacement node with better interface. There is a node that makes it easier to work with JSON and CSV file. This new buffer data type that allows you to convert surface to a buffer and vice versa. There's also a huge improvement to the already existed node. We have an improved 3D controller for the 3D related node. In an array to animation node, you also have a frame sequence property and frame sequence editor, which allow you to build your own animation from array. We have a depth of field property to our camera node. We have a new algorithm for our edit detection. The export node also support more file extension. The group input and output will also inherit the name of the junction that it connected to. Particle node also have a collision ground property which allows you to make a particle bounce on the ground that it spawned from. The scatter node also have a new full image distribution node which will scatter on the entire image with tiling. There's also an option to scatter object around a part. We also improved the editor and the tool behavior for part node for composite and canvas node. And there's a bunch more smaller updates to a number of nodes that I will show you on the screen right now. In the past 4 months, we have been receiving and fixing over 100 different bugs coming from our Discord server, from the Steam, and the HIO community. And talk about community, if you check the splash screen, you will also see a new contest tab, which connect to our Discord server contest channel. In the future, I will start introducing new contests, which you can participate in our Discord channel, and the contest will be displayed to everyone who is using Pixel Composer. So that's all for the update note. In the next version, I will be now focus on the 3D part of Pixel Composer, because we have received a lot of feature requests related to 3D stuff and I think it might be a good idea to rework the 3D system to make things more modular. So stay tuned for the next update. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.